Hi, I'm Ewan Spence, and with that nod to Tony Zoo, this is Every Song a Story, Framed. Perhaps the title gives it away, Every Song a Story. Put simply, this whole collection of essays is the idea that every Eurovision song, if it wants to make the most of its three minutes, needs to tell a story through the music, the lyrics and in visual storytelling techniques. Those techniques are used throughout film and TV productions and they should be used at Eurovision as well. Here's a quick guide to framing your story on the screen by thinking left, centre, right. In the olden days, duets, no matter the story, were easy to stage. You put the couple in the centre of the screen, you locked a camera and you let them tell their story. As audiences became more visually adapt and technology became readily available, you could add another layer to the storytelling through framing. You might still tell a story through song, but now you could show the story as well. But very simplistically, if your couple is together in the story, you frame them in the centre. If they are apart, mentally split the screen into two sides, place one character on the left and one character on the right. Your duet storylines are simple. Are they coming together? Are they trying to stay together? Are they trying to reconcile the relationships? All these can be represented by where they stand and how you frame them left, centre, right. Individuals sing in the centre, but couples, if they are apart, will sing on the left and on the right before moving to the centre to signify a growing relationship. You might want to bring one singer into the same space as the other. I could start with a simple look into a space and then a movement into the same space to invade, to, to occupy that space. Here's Valdez and Monica's duet of this time, this year's Lithuanian song. Know that we have two individuals to start with. They're both centre. Both look screen left before exiting screen left. There's consistency of movement, as we talked about previously, and we have the start of the storytelling. There is a consistency in the storytelling. As the song opens, it is clear that Valdis is chasing Monica. Both are moving to the left. Both are moving into Monica's space. Know that Monica remains the left character throughout the song, and Valdis remains the right character. They both flirt with each other by going into each other's side of the frame before returning to their own side. At the kiss, we have centre coming into play. Will left and right join together? Will they stay together? The tension in the story and in the song is mimicked in this war for territory, which means this shot here, when the song puts them together, when the camera puts them together, when the overlap in the centre, should now be an obvious motif. Sometimes it's hard to see the split in framing, but sometimes it is completely obvious even to the non-cinematic eye. Here's a couple who are together, sharing centre, but also physically apart. It's in a moment like this. From Denmark, Shani is taking left and Andy Murray is taking right. Know that when we do see them separately, the other is still overlapping them in the same part of the frame. They are a couple, they are divided, but they want to be together. The entire story is foreshadowed in arguably 15 seconds of visual storytelling and clearly is foreshadowed within 30 seconds, purely by the visuals. Circumstances are keeping this couple apart, be it a wall, be it being physically pulled apart, or I just love this hugely symbolic dual monitor shot. Once these obstacles are overcome, we have the meeting in the centre, making a physical connection, removing all barriers between them, and they walk off into a heightened emotional state. They're represented with a steady cam to keep them in the centre while they move. The wind machine and an abundance of pyro magnify the feelings of emotional togetherness. But also notice here who wins. Shani comes to Nevergreen. She comes from left to right and stays right. The couple are right. Clearly, when I need you to hold me, and also say you'll love and never leave me, I think we can see who is meant to be the dominant partner here. 
To Estonia 2015 now and goodbye to yesterday. This is dripping in left and right. If you feel confident, pause this, go and watch the full video from their performance at the final of Este La. Stig takes the role of left and Elena the role of right. Also, this presentation is going to start to bring in the idea of depth in a shot, which we may explore at a later date. Firstly, the relationship is already broken as we start. Stig never claims centre, he stays resolutely on the left. Elena is locked into right. Both of them refuse to take centre as the song opens, and both the distance between them on left and right, and the ability to have both of them in focus together because of the depth and distance pretty much dooms our lovers before we even get to the chorus. Note the complete lack of eye contact with each other. Even when the space between them is compressed by the camera zoom, we have a strict left and right separation. Elena, in the song and in the framing, is trying to pull Stig back through the camera zoom. Stig is fighting to get away. Note how Elena is moving away from Stig in this shot, but also recognise that this is all in the camera work, she's not actually moving on stage. The final break apart is made, and we have the internal justification to the audience taking place with both characters occupying centre before they return to their positions. As the song ends, Stig and Elena are further apart than at any other moment in the song. This relationship is so over. While left, centre, right is powerful for duets, watch out for it to highlight other elements of his story with solo singers. The use of empty space as a second character in a ballad is a common use of this technique. While most solo performers will dominate centre, pay attention when they go left and right, when they look left and right, and how the camera moves and places them in connection with the song and the lyrics. What is the shot telling you? What is the intention behind the shot? It should never be wasted. Three minutes is not long. How can camera work reflect what a song is about? If you want to know, just think left, centre, right. I'm Ewan Spence, and this was Every Song A Story. Framing.